A stone dropped from the roof of a single story building to the surface of the earth. Uh, and think of it like as a blank statement. We have to finish the statement. Go ahead and read the five options and take your time and pick the right one. Try to work this one out and then we'll solve it together. All right, hopefully you gave this a try. So it's a single story building and there's a stone which is dropped. Um, the first option says reaches a maximum speed quite soon after release and then falls at a constant speed thereafter. Okay, so the first option basically means that there is some increase in speed when the stone drops, there is some increase in speed. But then after some time, there is a, like a plateau. So if you try to draw that, there is some increase in speed and then there's like a plateau. So then it becomes constant after some time. Second says speeds up as it falls because the gravitational attraction gets considerably stronger as the stone gets closer to the earth. Second option would basically look kind of like this. This is the first option. This is the second one. This is all, these are all VT. So second basically says that the gravitational force increases as you go closer to the earth. So the speed also increases. Third one says speeds up because of an almost constant force of gravity acting upon it. Okay. Again, third option says speeds up because of a constant force of gravity acting on it. So the difference between B and C really is that B says the force increases, C says force is same and because of a constant force, the speed is increasing. D falls because of the natural tendency of all objects to rest on the surface of the earth. And E says falls because of the combined effects of the force of gravity pushing it downward and the force of air pushing it downward. Okay, so firstly, option E, if you look at option E, if there is something being dropped, there will be air resistance, some air resistance, but in the upward direction, right? So it's, this is sort of makes sense. So E is wrong. And if you look at D, falls because of the natural tendency of all objects to rest on the surface of the earth. So the natural tendency of all objects is really to stay in whatever state they are. If they are at rest, they will stay at rest. If they're in motion, they would tend to continue in motion. But the natural tendency to rest on the surface of the earth is not really a natural tendency, right? Option A, let's look at option A. So it reaches a maximum speed quite soon after release and then falls at a constant speed thereafter. So this does make sense. Like if there is some acceleration to begin with, then there is air resistance. Uh, let's say there is a force of gravity to begin with and uh, that force might look like this. And initially air resistance is very less, but as the stone gains speed, the air resistance also increases balancing the force of gravity. So then that means there is no net force. So that means no acceleration and the stone falls at a constant speed. But again, the effect of air resistance really for a single story building would be negligible. So it would matter if the stone would have been dropped from a greater height, then there would be enough time for air resistance to increase and then balance the gravitational force. But if we talk about a single story building, it's quite close to the surface of the earth the effect of air resistance will really be negligible to the effect of the force of gravity. So A is also wrong and B is clearly wrong because we know we are talking about something very close to the surface of the earth. So we can assume that the gravitational force is constant at least to uh, at least at the level of a single story building, right? Option C says speeds up because of an almost constant force of gravity. This is the right option. It says almost constant because it's taken into consideration that it is very close to the surface of the earth, not really at the surface of the earth. And it speeds up constantly because there is a constant force and the effect of air resistance will be negligible here. So it's the constant, there is no constant speed after some time. The speed is constantly increasing. So option C is the right one here.